try to do something different today. I'm going to can some smoked salmon. If you look back at my videos, you'll see where I smoked the salmon. Today I'm going to can it. Of course, we have to have a drink. Smoked salmon usually goes better with beer, but since I'm going to can it today, I'm going to try the whiskey instead. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope it helps. So I've sterilized all the jars today. I put them through the dishwasher and cleaned them all up. I've got my lids, my ring, my lids and my rings in there. When I get a little closer to get them all filled, I'm, I'll heat them up and then I'll put them on the jars. I put in a tablespoon of of uh, oil and a teaspoon of vinegar. And the vinegar, what it does, is supposed to soften up any bones that are left in there. That's the whole concept of that. So hopefully this all works. So I'm gonna break this stuff up. I'm gonna take the skin off too, when I put it in the jars, just to make sure that, uh, well, I don't like the skin on my fish. Anyway, so off it comes. We'll break it up, put it in there in pieces. So the thing that I'm interested in is I've watched some person that has some smoked salmon put it on, make sandwiches out of it, and it looked very good. So I'm going to give it a try and see if, if it's as good as it looked. These things that you can see, I'll hold it down a little bit here. You can see that they're not 100% uh, cooks right through so it needs to be uh, cooked a little more and you fill it right up as far as you can so you've got to leave that much room in there so it has some expansion room and then uh, and then pour your vinegar and stuff on top but you want to fill it up as much as you can with fish so a tablespoon of oil and one of vinegar, a teaspoon of vinegar. I'll just put it over there and carry on. I won't bore you doing the whole thing, but uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Having a piece of fish with a drink. I can't uh, be doing all this eat fish without trying to eat some of it. Cheers. With a damp rag I take and I wipe the lids all off here. Make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm boiling the, uh, the lids so the uh, seal will soften up. And also with the rings. And extra tighten them. There's number one. We got 14 jars, no 15 jars, out of that bunch that was there. I should lift up the camera a bit so you guys can see a bit more what's going on here. Better turn this down. Grab another one out of there. So then I'm going to put them in the pressure canner. I've got it all set up outside on my uh, camp stove for safety's sake. Because we, uh, I had one of them rings blow up, the safety valves blow up on me and it made a big mess, I'll tell you. Something you don't want to see very often and wouldn't want it inside your house. So I do it outside. And I put it uh, in the pressure canner and I can it for 90 minutes at between 10 and 14 pounds pressure. Ooh, he 
these things are a little warm on the fingers. There, magically they're done, ready to go into the canner. So there's uh, 15 jars, perfect. Gives me a good taste, maybe some friends a good taste. I know there's guys that like to smoke salmon, see if they like it canned. So that's my canner, my camp stove. They're all inside there. Now that's the top layer, there's another layer below that. This canner doesn't have a uh, rubber seal, it's sealed metal to metal, which is very nice. It actually allows, uh, you don't have to go buy new seals all the time for it. And you have to, uh, like it's got these clamps on it, so you clamp opposite sides. Make sure everything's tight. I can't do it with one hand. I haven't got my tripod out here, so. But you get the drift. The gauge is on there and uh, it's going to be up between 10 and 14 pounds for 90 minutes. She's all clamped down. Flame is going down there. And just for you guys' information, that is the rubber gasket that blew out. If it ever does, it makes a big mess. But you can get new ones at Home Hardware. Well, that's the finished product. Now all they have to do is seal. We gotta wait them, see how they seal. We'll see that in the morning. Hope you enjoy the video.